What's up everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of myinvestingclub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at myinvestingclub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. What's up guys, it's Harry Haas here. And today I'm going to be doing a video on the first kind of VWAP bounce at the open. Uh, it's a pretty high odds play if you can identify it and learn the pattern. Uh, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, also, I'm not a licensed financial advisor, so uh, this isn't any financial advice, even if it seems like financial advice. And without further ado, let's just get right into it. So, uh... This is basically, as I've already said, a VWAP bounce play at the open. Uh, it's a low float. Uh, they work the best, but again, it's not necessarily the holy grail. Like, I mean, there's going to be some floats here that are higher than others, but it's important that they're all kind of under the 15 mil range. Uh, they're all overextended uh, in the pre-market. Uh, it's the first pull into VWAP. I prefer the stock to kind of slowly make its way into it rather than a hard crash, uh, but you'll kind of see once I start to get into some examples. The overextension is going to be key, uh, which you will also see in some examples. The volume can tell the story if used correctly, and also I'm going to dive right into that as well. I'm just kind of uh, giving you guys something to uh, to look for and to kind of start thinking about before I kind of get into some examples. And this is similar to the first bounce strategy. Uh, it's like the first bounce's cousin. So yeah, again, what I look for uptrending pre-market uh, usually has a strong opening drive. I'm not looking for home runs. I have scalp plays in mind, and this is very important because a lot of people want to take these first bounce plays and hold for like a one, $2 move. And that's not kind of my goal here. My goal here is to kind of catch some scalps. If if we get a lot of volumes, maybe sometimes you might get like a dollar share gain, but uh, when you're entering these plays, don't have that in mind. Have kind of a scalp mentality in mind. And also, the lower floats are kind of the higher odds plays, so that's also something to be aware of. If the float is lower, you can kind of say to yourself, hmm, there might be an opportunity for a VWAP bounce here. And I'd also caution that there are going to be a lot of times where after you see this video, you're going to just be looking for a VWAP bounce, just looking for kind of like a VWAP bounce. And it's really important to remember that this strategy is just going to be a tool in your toolbox. It's not going to be a strategy where you go out every single day and say, I'm going to be looking for a VWAP bounce today. And what you should be kind of kind of doing with the market is saying, okay, I see a stock here. What type of plays and what type of patterns can I be looking for? Is this going to be a first bounce play? Is this going to be a type of play where we get a VWAP reclaim? Is this a type of play where I'm going to be looking for a VWAP for a VWAP bounce? And instead of saying, well, this, you know, instead of before the stock gaps up or before you see the pattern, you're saying to yourself, oh, well, I'm going to just be trading a VWAP bounce today. You know, kind of trade what the market presents to you rather than be looking for kind of a specific pattern every day. Because if you are looking for a specific pattern every day, it's important that you're trading uh, the A plus patterns every day instead of trying to force something. So that'd be something that I'd suggest to you. You know, this is just another pattern for your toolbox. So when you see it, you can attack it rather than trying to trying to see it when it's not there and force it. So that's something that I would keep in mind. Uh, so this is basically the pattern. I know this isn't the most professional drawing you've ever seen in your life, but I think it does a good job depicting the actual strategy. So basically right here, this is kind of the pre-market when a stock gaps up. It's kind of uptrending all the way, all the way. And then we kind of get a strong opening drive and the stock comes back to VWAP and then we make money on this, this little bounce here. And yeah, I know this isn't the most professional drawing, but it's probably the best way I could depict it and the best way that I could kind of show it before I get into some examples. I have about 
eight or nine examples here for you to kind of see and understand uh, what I'm thinking. And all of these patterns that I show you are the same pattern every single time. So the next time you see it, if you've watched this video, you might say, hmm, this is one out of Harry's video. Maybe this is a time uh, where I can actually take this, this, you know, pattern and use it. Instead of saying every single day, well, you know, I know I need to find a VWAP bounce. You just need to, to kind of use it when you see it. It's a play it when you see it. All my plays are just plays that I kind of have in the back of my head, and when I see them, I use it. So now it's time to get into how you can kind of use volume as a cue, as a clue, sorry. And, you know, this type of this type of thing is, it can be kind of, uh, you know, it can be, you can get a little bit over convicted sometimes when you have too many clues or too many things with a pattern because what can happen is that you can say, hmm, it's a VWAP bounce, but we're not seeing this volume. So, you know, maybe, maybe it's not gonna be a VWAP bounce. Then you can kind of get into these like mental traps almost. So it's important that you, you kind of just use it as a clue and say, hmm, there's kind of, there's kind of lower volume around the, the, the bounce level. I can use this as a clue, but if it doesn't work, I'm going to stick to my risk and I'm going to cut my, my losses quick. And that's, something really 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 important so basically what I look for is you can see it right here you know you get a strong opening drive right off the right off the bat and then we start to see volume die off and it slowly makes its way into VWAP and just by reading the volume I can tell you how this kind of pattern how this went uh, so basically what happened here is it kind of slowly made its way into VWAP and uh, you know this would be kind of the ideal entry down here and then we get this big candle volume and then I'm out. So that's something important that I kind of look for. Uh, it's just kind of another indicator. It's another kind of uh, edge that you can say to yourself, hmm, the volume is getting a little bit weaker, but it is in the bounce zone. So I'm going to take some here and then when we get this big volume candle, I'm going to be out. And nothing's guaranteed. You may get a volume candle, you know, the size of this or even something like this. It's important to kind of have targets and it's important to kind of just, just know the pattern. So I'm going to be going over some examples right now and uh, we can kind of dive into what I'm seeing. So here's the first one. Uh, the one thing that you can notice about this pattern is the pre-market. So the pre-market, it's an uptrending pre-market. The entire pre-market, it's above VWAP. And immediately we kind of get this strong opening drive and then we get this uh, kind of slow kind of pull into VWAP and then we get uh, a spike and then that's it. I've showed this trade uh, in my last video and I, I kind of took it in this area right here, sold up here. And so that's kind of one example that we can look for where uh, we also notice here that the volume kind of dies down and then it comes back up and we could sell anywheres in here. So yeah, this is a pretty, pretty nice gain. Uh, the takeaways that you can take away from it are that, you know, we did get a, a, a nice strong opening push. We got a slow move into VWAP and then a pop and uh, just the volume here. Um, we have a, kind of a ton of examples. They're all the exact same thing and it just can kind of show you just uh, how I use the setup and and just the actual pattern. So again here, look, these two are the exact same. And this is what I wanted to do to really show, you know, every example is the exact same in this video. Just to just just so that there's no confusion and that nobody gets confused. Like all these examples are the exact same. Um, again here we have you know an uptrending pre-market something nice we get a strong opening drive at the open and then we get a slow kind of curl into towards VWAP and we also notice here kind of the volume dies down a little bit and then we get this nice this nice push this nice pop and then boom also here it does happen to do kind of the same thing but is this this trade isn't really what we're looking for like we want to kind of just focus on this first bounce into VWAP and then the pop. The other bounces, I mean, yeah, it did work. We There was a nice kind of gain up, up here. But, I mean, the higher odds, the best odds play would be this kind of slow curl into VWAP. Like, I think that's really important. And we're not going to see stocks like this every day. So it's really important that when it's kind of a play it as you see a pattern. I know I'm repeating myself. I know I'm saying the exact same thing. But it's a, it's a play it as you see it kind of pattern. Example three. What do we have here? You know, we see a 
an uptrend pre-market, we get a nice strong opening drive, we get a, a push, a slow kind of curl in towards VWAP. No, notice how it's not really like a death candle. Also keep in mind the time for all of these, like the time is in the first, you know, 10, 20 minutes of the, of the open where like these patterns are identical where uh, we just get that kind of pull in towards VWAP and then we get that, that nice pop and then, you know, we're out. So, I mean, these are all pretty straightforward setups and it's just, it's really, it's really a, a, a nice one. Um, again, with this one, uh, we get this uptrend again. Uh, we get this kind of pullback. Notice how the volume does kind of die off and then we do get that, that kind of stuff move. But yeah, this one is definitely an important one to kind of showcase and show off that it's really the same thing that I'm looking for every single time, I kind of just say to myself, I'm looking for the uptrend, I'm looking for kind of the pull in towards VWAP, we get the nice pop, we get the kind of lower volume, we get the kind of stuff, and then that's it. Uh, so basically what we learned, I know this is a shorter video, I kind of feel guilty when my videos are, are a little shorter because uh, I really like to go in depth. I know I've said it before, but I really love to go in depth, but I feel like this is the most in depth I can get with this because there are all the same thing every time. There's nothing, you know, ununique with these ones. So basically what we learned, the majority are low flow. It's the first pull into to VWAP. I don't go back a second time. Uh, you can notice how these patterns are all the same. I remember making this video saying like, you know, these are all the same. Like I hope people can really understand that these patterns are all the same, you know. Uh, pre-market is a guide, the uptrend pre-market, you know, that's really important. Uh, volume is a sign. Uh, it's usually the hot chick all the, always. All of these were the hot chick in the day. Uh, nothing is 100%. These are repeatable patterns, which is really important. And uh, yeah, uh, so that's kind of all there is to this video. I know it's a little bit shorter, but uh, that's pretty much it with this video. I know it was a little bit shorter, but I know, like, this is really... Uh, um, all I could go over, I just feel like I was repeating myself with every single pattern. So yeah, that's it guys, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.